Hello everybody and good day to you all the death of my billions season number three episode number seven not you Mark Dick and here is episode directed by uh, Michael Morris and here we have things going down we got Baba Asherah he's on trial for the whole juice incident and so and you have um um Brian prosecuting I'm trying to make sure he goes he goes to jail for the crime that he committed but we have a situation here because of this Wendy got involved, and she could go to jail, and Wendy goes to jail, Chuck's could go to jail too. So if it made two people who do not like each other, they work together. So now you got Bobby, Wendy, and Chuck working together to make sure none of them goes to jail. Because one goes down, they all going down. And I have to say, this was the most beautiful partnership I've seen in my life. Because you know they hate each other. Well, at least, at least I'm Bobby and Chuck. But they put that aside... For their own benefit, their own they, they save their own butts, and the even Wendy showed her darker side here, which was amazing and quite scary. Oh my God, the way she manipulated um Maffy, Malfi, Maffy as I say his name. Maffy's played by um um Dan um Silder. and she knows from all her sessions that he has a little crush on her. And she, the way she used him and played him, the, 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 here's the interesting part. She let him know that it wasn't going to go no further, but at the same time, gave him hope that it probably could. And so, this, and so the way she manipulated him to get what she wants from him, oh, it was like a puppet master, this, this Dan dance little puppet, dancing on those strings. And she used her sexual pill in a way that was just, oh, scary. I was just, oh my gosh, she's a, oh. See, I always knew that Bobby was a monster, and I and I knew that Chuck was a monster, but I didn't know that Wendy was too. Holy mother! Oh man! And it had an interesting, um, interesting um, interaction between one another. And the, and the one, that, the scene that I liked the most was the one between um, Tyler and Wendy, because see, Tyler's can see what they're doing. Even though she's not involved, she's kept on the sidelines, but she can see certain things because she's very smart and she's very observant. She's like a robot. But she can see what's going on. She might not have all the details, but she noticed, she picked up certain things and she noticed how they kept trying to go from the, Mayf the, the Malfi and try to get things from him and try to manipulate him in a certain way. She said, whoa, 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 whoa. I like Malfi. He's the only person who supported me and helped me get to the position I am now. And you're gonna you gonna try to use him for your lies? Like, nope, not on my watch. And so she, when she and when she confronted Wendy, now she didn't quite all right all right and say, leave my friend alone, okay? Don't you try to manipulate him to get what you want. I know what you're doing. No, she didn't say that. But she was she talked to her in a way that let her know that what she was saying, but not quite saying it. But she, but Wendy got the point. And then Wendy responded in a way saying, I understand what you're saying, but I'm going to do what I want anyway. <laughs> like, but it's still, it's like very interesting and like, oh, it was intense too because they, they, put, they, they, they both weren't saying what they actually were meaning, but you understood what they were saying in the meaning of what they were saying. Did that make any sense? I'm not quite sure. But still, nonetheless, I got what they, was, what they were doing and it was done so beautifully. This episode has some humor in it as well, which I, I didn't enjoy. This episode was intense. Because you knew they were going to get off. That, was, that wasn't the issue. Just seeing how they were going to do it was just so beautiful. And then you have Chuck, who has the most biggest balls I've ever seen in my life. This guy went to the doctor. Um, Dr. Gilbert, who's played by Seth Umberish. He went to Dr. Gilbert, and he manipulated him to, to try to frame Bobby. But then he used those same tactics on him, and then he prosecuted him for it. This is, what is happening? And the doctor knew he's guilty, but he couldn't say nothing about it, because the thing the part is, he actually was guilty of something else too. So it is, oh my gosh, this episode was amazing. Oh my gosh. But they manipulate people to get what they want, M use, use the law and bend it and twist it around, make it dirty, but not quite falling off the track, but still at the same time, oh, and then you have poor Brian, who wants to do the right thing, who knows what's going down, but he can't prove nothing, 
He can't prove anything. He knows what's happening. He knows what's going on. He knows Bobby's guilty. He knows Chuck's guilty. He knows Wendy's guilty. He knows everything. But he can't prove nothing. He can't do nothing. Nothing at all. And watch him just get had to eat crow like that. And like he's wrong, but he actually the person who's actually right. It's so messed up. But it was so beautifully done that I had to commend it. And I said, oh my gosh, I love this. The writing on this show was just amazing. The fact I I I don't know. Oh, I don't know how they do it. Oh, the thing is, though, it's not a lot of action. There's no action on the show. It's just a pure drama. But the but the way the scenes are and the way they connect, the way how people interact with one another, is just done so well that it feels intense, like something's happening, but not really. Oh, oh my God, it was done so well. I loved this episode. I really did. Ugh. Done so well. Leave comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode uh, of Billions. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully when you watch it, you will enjoy it. Have fun watching it too. So give my channel a big like and thumbs up. Shabam! And subscribe to my channel. And share. I really appreciate it. Also, the little bell at the bottom so you can notify every time I make a video. Like I always say, in my dreams in my life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.